Good morning. Sorry, it's been a really busy week. As you know, last week I did a video of my own and then a collaborative video. Those did take a really long time. And I had some quizzes to take and some papers to write and some presentations to give. Yeah, there's a lot of that in college. And I cured cancer and ended world hunger. I don't think anyone has ever done those things. House, The Big Bang Theory, Scrubs, NCIS. Isn't that your DVR lineup? Ovals, trapezoids, isosceles, triangles. Those are shapes. In short, I am so exhausted and sleep deprived, I'm afraid I'm gonna cue my intro in mid. Sentence. Allegedly, the average adult requires eight hours of sleep per night, according to science. Pfft. I exhale in skepticism and defiance. Pfft. What does science know? It's not based on factual data. Let's assume the ridiculous notion that I live to be the average American male lifespan of 75 years. Highly unlikely. If I sleep an average of 8 hours per night, that's 25 years of sleeping. 25 years. That's long enough to watch The Dark Knight over 87,000 times, and given that much extra free time, isn't that the way you would want to spend it? It's long enough to watch Adam Sandler's click and then spend 24.99 years wishing you hadn't. If it were possible to have gestation periods back to back with no time in between at all, it would be long enough to biologically manufacture 33.3 people. Whoa, gross. It's gross because the process of making people is gross, and I really can't elaborate much beyond that without using dolls from a therapist's office. It's also gross because fractions of people are gross. Not a big fan of dismemberment. Randy Gardner holds the world record for longest time spent without sleeping, a total of 11 days. Now, I know you heard me say 11 days, but in my head, what I heard was... Challenge accepted. Whoa, pretty creepy, huh? So I'm on day number three now without any sleep. Hold on. Problems included short-term memory loss, paranoia, and hallucinations? That would explain the triple layer peanut butter and jelly sandwich that just appeared on my desk. I know it's not real, but I'm so hungry. Balls. Okay, maybe sleep is necessary, but... I am a man! And you can't make me do things I don't want to do. Only in your dreams. See what I did there? Sleep and dreams. Cause they... Get it. Get it. You get it. Speaking of dreams coming true, I finally made a segue that halfway made sense. But really, speaking of dreams coming true on a more serious note, yesterday I had the honor and privilege of meeting a great YouTube inspiration of mine. Now, I can't tell you who it is because that would ruin the surprise. But I can give you two hints. One, he's a vlogbrother, and two, it's John Green. Hmm. to this book reading slash signing where I got to listen to slash meet the incredible John Green. To just listen to the guy and then actually get to meet him was way beyond the verbal capacity of awesome for me. Take a look. And one of the founding principles of, of, of the American idea, at least in my opinion, is the idea that all people, all of our citizens, will have access to information. They will have access to the exact same set of information as wealthy or privileged people would. And I think that's a very valuable idea. And, and I still believe in that ideal. And I see that alive in our public libraries in America. And so I'm very, very proud to be here today at the library during National Library Week. So, Thanks for watching What I Do.